Yes. Now let us uh, talk about simple epithelial tissue. Simple epithelial, we know that these uh, tissues are made up of one layer, one layer of uh, epidermal cells, one layer of epidermal cells. That means they are very thin and they are uh, found in places which are also thin, which are also very small. Hmm. So let us see what are those uh, simple squamous, that means the flattest of all uh, uh, epithelial cell uh, tissues, the simple squamous, it is found in uh, alveoli, hmm, at the air sacs and capillaries. Why? For the sole purpose, see how are the alveoli. Uh, this is an alveoli, alveolus. So it is made up of just one layer of cell. It is so thin. And what is the purpose of it being so thin? The purpose is, the purpose is exchange of gas. Exchange of gas. Carbon dioxide, oxygen exchange is taking place. Here it is surrounded by capillaries. Hmm? So if this wall is thick, then the exchange will not be able to take place. So capillary walls are made up of just one, one row of cells and uh, that is simple squamous epithelium. Then second one will be capillary. Capillary. Capillary walls also, they are very thin. Capillary walls are very thin, just made of one layer of simple squamous epithelial cell. It is known as endothelium. In case of capillary, the epithelial cell uh, tissue is known as endothelium. This is known as endothelium. Now here blood vessels, uh, blood uh, cells are there. Blood cells are there. They are moving. This side is artery, this side is vein. Uh, they have a uh, few more layers of cells but capillary will have just one layer of endothelium and this is uh, simple squamous. Here again the purpose is exchange of gas and food stuff. So if it is thick then exchange will not be able to take place. So they are made up of simple squamous epithelium. So the uh, location of this is alveoli capillaries. You will have to remember the name of the organ where this uh, uh, epithelial tissues are placed okay and based on function the placing of these tissues are based on their function so uh, as this is uh, for exchange of things so it is simple squamous very thin layer now the next is simple cuboidal here again uh, the uh, the covering is made up of one uh, layer of cuboidal cells cuboidal epithelium and it is of two types one where uh, there is no cilia on top, on the free surface, there is no cilia. One end is always basement membrane. The free end sometimes has cilia, sometimes without. So it may be without, uh, without cilia, as in germinal epithelium or the gonads, they have uh, the epithelial cell. Uh, the epithelial cell only gives rise to egg and sperm. Those epithelial cells are uh, cuboidal, simple cuboidal epithelial cells. Then we have ciliated uh, simple cuboidal also. They are present in respiratory tract and nephron. Now here the function is, the function of these two being uh, movement. Movement of particles. Particles or, uh, or minerals uh, and so on. Like what happened? Respiratory tract in in your nostril also you will uh, you will uh, observe if you see closely they are small hair like structure, isn't it? So that is nothing but uh, cilia, hmm, cilia. So uh, the ciliated epithelium, what does it do? Suppose we breathe in some dust particle. Hmm? So these cilia they move in one direction. Their sole purpose uh, for as long as they are. They, they're, the life cycle of each and every cell of our body is uh, limited, isn't it? They get shed and renewed. So this also, they get shed and renewed. So as long as they live, their sole purpose is just movement in one direction. The cilia will keep on moving in one direction. So that whatever is coming inside while breathing, they are thrust outside. They will be moving in the outside direction. So uh, the particles will be thrown outside. In case of nephron, what happens? Uh, the, um, the liquid that is 
the, the filtrate it has to be moved isn't it it has to be moved so here also we have ciliated cuboidal epithelium so here the function is movement of particle here it was uh, exchange the what was the function of uh, simple squamous it was exchange of material exchange of material it can be gas it can be food substance material here the movement of particles now the next type is simple columnar epithelium so you know here the cells are very uh, tall cylindrical like now this simple columnar it is of three types hmm. what are they first it is ciliated uh, as here the movement will uh, the purpose will be movement and the ciliated columnar is found in fallopian tube there the egg has to be moved inside isn't it egg released from the ovary it comes from the fallopian tube it has to be moved inside so that is done by ciliated uh, columnar epithelium so it is ciliated type next will be brush border very important brush border what is it uh, the free end of the cell they have finger like projection like this like this they have finger like projection this is known as brush border brush border so what is what is it basically doing it, uh, is it not increasing the surface area of absorption increasing the surface area of absorption so all those places where absorption is done will have brush border simple columnar epithelium now what are those places one will be pct proximal convoluted tubule there absorption is done absorption of minerals so they have this kind of brush border and uh, next is small intestine small intestine uh, the villi the villi are nothing but brush border epithelium so uh, that is the second type third type is uh, of columnar they, they are glandular glandular that means the purpose is secretion the it becomes little gland picture kind of uh, structure each cell huh? whichever cell will function as glandular they will become picture like it will have a small concavity and then they will secrete mucus or whatever things they will uh, they are secreting they will secrete in, in, the, in this uh, cavity which will come out so they are glandular and the name is uh, it is present in uh, stomach and duodenum name is goblet cell goblet cell so they are single cell which has become epi epithelial cell which have become glandular that means they are secreting some substance they are found in stomach and duodenum so here we see three kinds of function one is movement this is movement this is um, uh, this is uh, absorption absorption and this is secretion secretion so based on function you can understand what type is present in which location uh, simple squamous it is present in alveoli and capillary because there is exchange of material going on simple cuboidal they are present in uh, germinal epithelium uh, because uh, they, they change their structure ultimately they become modified uh, and the uh, ciliated simple cuboidal they are found in respiratory tract and nephron their function being movement of particles third type simple columnar they are three types first is ciliated which is found in fallopian tubule uh, purpose is movement of egg second type is brush border uh, uh, columnar epithelium its function is absorption and it is found in pct and uh, small intestine then uh, the third type is goblet cell or glandular cell which is found in stomach and duodenum and the purpose is secretion so uh, these are the types of simple uh, epithelial tissue now we shall see compound epithelial tissue